Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 13th to the 19th of February 2017. We're coming out of a very big and powerful full moon in Leo. So we had the full moon at 22 degrees Leo, the sun at 22 degrees Aquarius, and Venus, Mars and Uranus all in Aries. So very electrical, sparky fire. Even though Leo is the heart, the other energies are much more sparky. And it's interesting that we're coming into the week where collectively Valentine's Day is celebrated. This is not really a proper calendar date and I think we have lots of lessons to learn this week about not externalising love or relying on outside validation of ourselves but more to go with this Leo full moon and to take that love inwards and to become sovereign to our heart and mind with that Leo Aquarius axis. So we have Mars and Venus together, which is a good balancement. So we have lots of harmony and balance there. And then also Uranus opposite Jupiter in Libra. And Libra is the relationship sign. It's actually the relationship with ourselves, but many Librans are here to explore relationship and to find themselves through interaction with others as well. And since last September, Jupiter has been going through Libra and clearing out and recalibrating and making some space and bringing back that sovereignty so that we can actually be whole in ourselves and then meet others from a more empowered place. So a very interesting couple of days with the Leo full moon then followed by all of this activity across the axis of Aries, which is the I am, and Libra, which is the we are, balancing out that relationship dynamic and returning us to our own heart, to our own simplicity and our own self-love. We need to be responsible for ourselves rather than relying on others or trying to fix others. So it's very important this week to keep a focus on that even when the external world is going crazy for the whole Valentine's romantic narrative. But this only feels like fine-tuning really, this work has been done over months, over years. So fine-tuning, fine-focusing and rebalancing anything that's not in balance, then we can glide through these aspects and free our hearts. So Jupiter calls us to be the authority of ourselves and to take responsibility for ourselves and to look where we may be giving away our power to energies outside of ourselves and that includes other people as well as the system so we've seen lots of political unrest and some shocks and surprises in 2016 but where are you giving your power to that and where can you take your power back and actually decide that you serve you and that you're not a subject of somebody else's power or authority so Jupiter in Libra opposite Uranus in Aries taking back your own power and making up your own mind all of those are aspects that are strong this week as well I've spoken in past weeks about holding the vision that's what Aquarius is all about to actually be responsible for our own frequency but also holding the vision rather than trying to fix what's broken holding a vision and elevating to a higher frequency so that we're creating from a more sovereign space so that energy is still around this week as well so by Friday it's the last day of Aquarius, the sun prepares to leave Aquarius and we can take a look back over this zodiac month and see what we've learnt. We can consolidate everything that we've learnt from the wise old winter sign and make a few statements of power, make a few rejuvenating, re-empowering statements of knowledge, of self-knowledge before we go forwards. So to honour ourselves, to know ourselves and to contribute to our world and to raise our frequency, all of those are aspects that we've learnt while the sun has passed through the sign of Aquarius. But by the weekend the sun goes into Pisces and this is a very different climate altogether. We have the ethereal waters, we have the soul knowledge and the emotional intelligence. We have a chance to remember ourselves and to put ourselves back together. A soul retrieval if you like, to look at where we have given away parts of ourselves or ignored ourselves, been distracted from ourselves, disregarded ourselves and to go and collect all that we are and put that back to oneness. So we plunge into the waters of Pisces which is the cells in our body, the emotional intelligence, 
the knowing, the intuition, and the returning to the emotional whole self. So we go from Aquarius, which is knowing ourselves more on a heart and mind level, and into Pisces, which is knowing ourselves across lifetimes, really, knowing our soul self and knowing where we need to pull back a little bit to regather, to refocus, to remember and to bring all of that back into a cohesive whole. So that happens over the weekend. So altogether it's quite a quiet week, it's one to do the internal work. We're in the last signs of the zodiac now, so to call on that wisdom, to remember, to grow, to reclaim our sovereignty, to remember our fullness and to step into our place of majesty. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. If you'd like a reading, I'm available over Skype or in Camden. We can have a look at where these energies are happening for you and what's coming up in the coming months to see where you can harness your best timing. I also have the online group and online courses which you're welcome to engage with if you'd like to learn this ancient art and science for yourself. So for any of that, please do contact me, zoehind7 at gmail.com. <laughs>